And the champion, Curtis Hildenbrand and Crew Chief Chase Panetta. How are you guys all doing tonight? All right. <laughs> it's only a few pages long, sorry. All right, first off, I'd like to thank Jim and Sue Nordhagen for everything they do for each and every one of us on and off the track. I'd also like to thank the entire CNS staff and officials. Um, you guys are the ones that make this a desirable place for the fans and us racers to be on a Saturday night. This will only take a few minutes, so please bear with me. This championship didn't come easy, to say the least. So for us to take this home this year means more than anything to this team. I know this might come shocking to many of you in this room, but before I started racing in 2011, I couldn't even change my own oil, let alone dismount a tire from a wheel. Growing up, I focused all my attention playing sports and doing the little things in life had to offer. My father taught me everything I know when it comes to sports and growing up as a boy. It was really in my upbringing it was never really in my upbringing to be around cars or racing, but the one thing that will live with me forever that he taught me was to be my very best, and I think this year we were able to prove that we did just that. Thanks for watching over us on and off the track, and this championship's for you. If you ask me, I would tell you I got a pretty good deal. My wife grew up around racing, and her dad spent countless hours on the, in, on the dirt in midgets and sprint cars. Thus, my wife already supported and understand what it took to be a race car driver. So in 2008, we went to see our, her dad race here at CNS in the sprint car division. And after the first night, and especially the super stock division, I looked over her and told her this was something I wanted to do. I don't remember who it was, but I knew I had to keep her when that night one of the super stocks flipped in turn two, and my curiosity overruled my fear. It wasn't until 2011 we were able to purchase our first car, and by all means, this car was far from being a top 10. Or maybe it was just the lack of knowing anything about cars and racing. In all of 2011, 2012, and 2013, we were only able to compete in a total of six or so races due to bad luck, or even worse, the car blowing our motors, and not even knowing it. This is how bad it was. When we first started, <coughs> uh, the first time we were on the track, we blew the motor in the dash. We were towed in, and we didn't even know we blew the motor until someone had to point out there was a rod sticking through the motor, or through the pan. <laughs> My wife and I had no clue about racing, and we felt quite overwhelmed. In 2014, our luck finally was on the uprising. My father-in-law stepped in and started to teach me everything I know, and by all means, it wasn't an easy task, I promise you. But in 2013, the off-season, with the help of some people here at CNS, you know who you are, we were able to find the Nova and completely build it from the ground up. The night I purchased, I was able to drive home on the highway, seats, interior, and all. That's how much we had to build this car. The car was definitely trial and error, to say the least, and I assure you it didn't have the same setup twice in the 2016 season. The season opened so many doors and opportunities for myself and my team, and we were able to win a few, our first A main in June and take home another A main in August, along with our first ever quick time on championship night. Needless to say we are starting to put our bad luck behind us and move forward. With the loving support of Jason Sherry, we were able to take the seat behind a brand new pro truck. With building a new machine, it requires a lot of uh, trial and error to work the kinks out, and it could take months. But the pressure we had in the division, we could, had to figure them out quick. As the season dwindled down, we weren't able to get them all worked out before the end of the season. But to be able to finish a strong four in points as a rookie was a great accompl accomplishment for our team and I can only imagine what next season holds in the truck division. I gained more knowledge in, the in one season of racing that truck than I did the entire five years of racing altogether. I'd like to take a few moments more, sorry, to say thanks to the people that helped me along the way to winning this championship. First off, I'd like to thank my wife. She is my biggest inspiration, and I try every day to make her proud of the driver I've become. I can assure you it's not an easy task when I'm physically away from the house working on race cars every Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday night, with the additional days and hours spent down there. For taking care of our two young children while I'm away, I know it's a handful, but, but you have done a wonderful job. And more importantly, when I am not present, some of our conversations around, revolve around racing and what I can do to be better. And for always being there for me anytime we're on the track. Thank you very much, and I love you. I'd like to thank Jace for believing me and spending all your time working with me 
and teaching me everything I know when it comes to racing. For some reason or another, I'm always worried about your reaction to the night. I know there are good nights and the bad nights, but after each race, Kim and I would talk about whether or not we, you were impressed or your thoughts on the night. I wanted to always show you my best. I wanted to always show you my best and show you I have what it can, has to continue to this path. Sherry does a lot for our small team. She was always there to keep us on the track and helps make sure we are all ready to give a big hand to my wife with the kids. She was always making sure that we are fair, fed and cared for. Most of all, thank you for believing in this team and more importantly, thank you for reminding me to hold my head high on the bad nights. She was always the first to tell me we will figure it out when, and get you back out there, even if this means to get another motor. Your inspiration helps drive this team. To my mom, my sister, my brother, I couldn't imagine what like what it's like to see your son or brother climb in a race car. And I'm sure the fear of something happening is present. But showing me your support means anything to me, everything to me. I remember when I told you I was going to start racing, and the look on your face was jaw-dropping. And I know it took a little while to show you that this is something I really wanted, but, but I think this year proves my passion, and I can't wait for the 2017, 2017 season. Thanks for showing your support to coming to many races, driving all the way across town just to watch an A-Main. Your, your support helped us win this championship, so thank you. A few more, guys, sorry. I would like to thank my family, my friends, and team members for always encouraging me, me to do my best and for always showing your support. I know what it, it's not always an easy coming up with the extra money to get to the track to show your support, but you are a huge contributor to this championship. So I thank you very much, and I will always be thankful of the nights that you came to watch. And to my friend Kyle Clegg, you have shown me the ropes at CNS and helped in so much with us in our racing career. I will be forever grateful. Thanks for being a friend, more importantly, my idol to the sport. Thanks for believing us and, having, and helping us with this championship. Lastly, I would like to thank the people and businesses that financially helped us along the way. I would especially like to thank the entire Coat family and Coat Transportation with their involvement with the team. Even when they have cars of their own, Gary was always there when we needed it most. So Gary, thank you. To Frames of Motion, Panetta's Auto Repair, The Garage Doctor, El Dorado Natural Spring Water, Clegg Racing Products, thank you. I'd also like to thank Lyle Hackenberg, Jerry Robertson, and Darren Robinson with their involvement with our team and helping us to succeed. To Levi Greenlee, the Greenlee Green family, uh, thanks for all your help this season. And to all the fans at the track and our social media fans, thanks for following such a fantastic team and we can't wait to hit the track next season in the Pro Truck and the Super Late Model Division. Thanks. <laughs> Let's get that trophy in front of you there. There you go. Anybody got a spare legend we can borrow? Once again, your champion of the Great Scott Scenery Superstars, Curtis Hildenbrand and Crew Chief Chase Panetta.